Excuse me, are you Little Mung? Little Fei is waiting for you at the docks. He's been waiting so long now that he's in tears about it. Ugh, oh, why is he so dumb? He could have just come here and found... Excuse me, are you little Lulu? Are you looking for me, miss? Didn't you promise to meet little Faye at the docks? Why aren't you going to meet up with him? He's crying because he thinks you've abandoned him. Huh? Oh, that silly dum-dum. Why didn't he just come to look for us? We prepared a surprise gift for him. A surprise gift? How strange. Excuse me, are you Little Mung? Little Faye is waiting for you at the docks. He's been waiting so long now that he's in tears about it. Oh, why is he so dumb? He could have just come here and found us. Oh, never mind. I'll go find him instead. He ran off. We should catch up to him. to try and find us, and definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. No, I'm sorry. You're not an idiot. I guess we shouldn't have been so secretive about it. We didn't come to the docks to meet you because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Huh? This is... We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads. And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu, too. Uh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> and all's well that ends well. It was all just a misunderstanding. Well, sometimes that's just what friends do. If my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset, too. Is that a hint for us to prepare a surprise for you, too? Very clever. No! I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking, seeing if I could give you a fright. Uh, everyone? Paimon's hungry. It's almost lunchtime, so how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. So, even your house is in this mirage? <laughs> yep, I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house, because... Well, everyone has to go home eventually.
Here we are. Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. No need to take off your shoes. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, chairs. We can finally unwind for a bit. Huh? Uh, did you guys hear a sound coming from the other room? Oh, you all keep resting here. I'll go have a look. Oh, the lights aren't even on. And there's no one... Whoa! Dun-dun-dun! Dun, dun, dun. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. What are you two doing? Why are you sitting in the dark inside my house? You scared the bejesus out of me! <laughs> Yunjin, you were totally right! She does get spooked! It's your birthday, so we planned a surprise party for you. <laughs> you girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending to be all sweet and innocent. Huh? <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. Totally, Yunjin. Goba pulls pranks on me all the time, too. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> Beidou needs to do something today, so she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. So, here they are. A custom-made dagger and the score of a composition from abroad. As for my offerings, I had these gold hairpins and iron hair ties custom made for you by my family. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years worth of experience to make hair ties? What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they actually require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. <laughs> My gift is one of a kind. A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> I took the jade on the spot and ground it into a pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. Wow. You made a jade pendant for me? Yeah. Oh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar, so I thought you should jazz it up a bit. I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. Thank you, Xiangling. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stones, can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, I might have to put it into my play. I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't remember anything and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. And then, all of a sudden, he recovered. He's all fine now, except for some reason, he can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones just by looking at them. Hmm... That's certainly peculiar. No, let's not get into that. The food is getting cold. Let's eat! Wait, Xinyan, didn't you pick up a trick from an Outlander merchant? The one you taught me on my last birthday. Huh? Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that, because we were too busy bringing the food over. It's fine. I can just use my imagination. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One, two, three! <laughs> hmm, what should I wish for this year? My wish is...
Oh, I'm back. What happened? Paimon was just peering through the crack in the door. Given that we are in a mirage, Shinyan, did anything significant happen inside the house? Paimon knows! Paimon knows! She ran into some of her friends who were throwing her a birthday party! Uh, yes, I heard all that. I mean, something she did herself. Oh, I made a wish! It's pretty interesting now that I think about it. When I entered the room, I found Shang Ling and Yun Jin, two of my best friends. That actually happened in real life. They paid me a surprise visit on my birthday, set a table with delicious food, and persuaded me to make a birthday wish. Xinyan, what was your wish? My wish was to perform with someone completely unexpected. Hmm, I wonder who this unexpected person might be. I've just figured it out. Oh, you already know the answer? Mm-hmm. However, before I tell you the answer, I'd like to clear the water veins that flow through the mountains. <laughs>